Yeah, so I think this is a really important point. We do want to think about getting to time affluence by prioritizing only what's important and letting go of spending too much time on unimportant tasks in our everyday life, like in our some of our data deciding where you want to eat or what you want to eat for lunch. So I have some great data with one of my colleagues showing that the French spend more time during their lunch hour savoring their meals. They might only have, they go to a sandwich shop, they pick an option very quickly, they satisfy, maybe it's not the best option on the menu, but it doesn't really matter. They're trying to have a meal or trying to engage in meaningful social interaction. They pick the fastest thing on a menu. In France, they also have more options, so that helps. And they spend more of that lunch hour savoring their, their meal and spending time with their colleagues as opposed to trying to pick the very best sandwich. In the U.S., we see the opposite. So in U.S. employees spend more time choosing what they're going to eat. They spend more time deliberating about, well, should I order takeout from this restaurant or this one? Should I have this salad or this one? Should I pick this dressing or this other <laughs> dressing? And so they spend less of their, their lunch break savoring and more time choosing. And this is a perfect example of a decision that we should be trying to satisfy pick a similar sandwich to the one that you always have, pick a similar salad to the one that you always have, and instead spend more of your time savoring the meal and savoring the company. And I think in general, we all fall into this maximizing trap. And at least some of the dimensions, it falls out for everyone a little bit differently. Maybe you're someone who really wants to have the best pair of shoes. So you'll spend hours and hours and hours trying to find the perfect business shoe or the perfect sneaker that's probably equally as good as some other shoe or sneaker. And maybe we should be spending less time searching for the absolute best in that consumption decision and instead satisfy and find a pretty good shoe that's pretty stylish. And there's good research suggesting that individuals in general who spend more of their time maximizing consumption decisions on an everyday basis are less happy than people who spend more of their time satisficing on the small decisions that we're all faced with on an everyday basis. And of course, as related to time, we've actually now shown this direct link. Satisficers, like the French that we studied, are better able to savor and are happier as a result.